Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about or starting a new series on untold stories that players generally haven't heard of before and just quite interesting things. Uh, the first one of this series is a story about how two completely random players nearly started the largest war in Starscape history, like bigger than the recent one, I can't remember what it was called, it was TCAP. Um, this is the first one of the series. If you have any of your own ideas or story, if you have any stories of your own that you'd like to share, just comment them on like the Starscape wiki or something, and I, I, I'll probably I'll probably just add them. I I might make an episode on them. So, let, but make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get into this first story. The story starts earlier this year with a pla with a faction called Phantom Coalition led by a player that many people know and hate, Yo Jeff Gamer. At this point, Phantom were up an up-and-coming faction. They were, they weren't big, but they were pre they were pretty strong for a faction of their small size. They were growing slowly with slow with experienced, active, and friendly members. The faction would host many rallies. One of these, however, would cause the faction's downfall. The rally when they attacked Gatinza. This rally would begin with an attack on an unspecified rival faction. The best play PvP -er in the rally being random name one two three. Now I just have to clarify that there this isn't actually their name. I've censored out the name of the him and his and uh, a further a few things further in the story just because I don't want to draw attention to them and cause any controversy or anything like that. This is not his real name. The player would end up winning the first part of the battle, managing to kill Sparkstorm twenty twenty ten. My username. Me, yeah, sadly, um, he 5 v one me though, so it doesn't really count in the process. But within a few minutes, we did actually get back into it. Phantom began to turn the battle into their favour, winning af the battle after Spark killed four members. Yes, I did. It was, yes, I actually did kill four members. Then, one of the most crucial moments happened. Yo, Jeff Gamer went off offline as well as did the rest of Phantom, and Random... Was came back and met Spark in Joanna. He basically offered him the highest second in command in his new faction that he was making, in a wealth of perks, lots of money, in credits, and clout. If he gave him an initial investment and quit his current faction, he tried to bribe you, Spark, or me. Basically, he offering him all sorts of power. After thinking about this. Spark declined and took screenshots to prove that he attempted to bribe him. Note these screenshots don't exist anymore, sadly. Um, yeah, don't really know what happened to them. I'm pretty sure I might have deleted them at some point. Doesn't really matter. The next day, however, everything would change. In what ended up being the closest week Starscape has ever been to a huge war. Now, it starts when Yojev Gamer mysteriously lost his leadership. He had been replaced by Random. Out of nowhere, it was completely Random. Yeah. He basically, he, Random took charge, began moderating all posts, ban mass banned and mass nuked channels, uh, wipe, like basically wiped any trace of some players existing. Everyone saw this immediately who was in the faction and there was a massive like fight in the general channel people were piling on him ridiculously and it was just insane he eventually managed to get kicked out of the fact we he eventually nearly got kicked out of the faction nearly but he was clever he realized that he had no power in this server since yo jeff still had had admin all he had to do was make a new faction server. So he destroyed, he got rid of Phantom and made a new faction. Nox Imperium. Or TNI at the time. Or TG T TRI. The Rebel Insurgents, I believe it was at the time. Then he basically started bribing more people. The leader of the faction that Spark was currently in, the EU, who defected immediately and went to join the new faction 
TGR, which is actually their name at the time, but I'm pretty sure they've changed it now, so I didn't have to change it. Things didn't get better from here. Random came up with a random 500,000 credit scam to get rid of any power Yo Jeff had. He accused him of horrendous scamming and basically made him one of the most hated players in Starscape community. Then things began to look bad for Spark. The last player standing in one in Random's way to becoming the most one of the most powerful players. The EU had a huge rebellion. Every officer defecting to Knox after the old leader invented false corruption claims. Means that Spark was trying to make the faction ultra militaristic and planning to overthrow the leader, but Spark w wasn't willing to go down without a fight. Making eight corvettes to give out to any players as willing to help with the fight. He immediately asked the wiki for help, and many people volunteered, with some high ranks in their factions even offering to join the war. The leader of a faction in the Citadel agreed to declare war as well. Battle tactics were drawn up, a web of allies prepared for war. But even with all these allies, the, com the combined army, or navy, or whatever, was about 100 players, which is tiny. But the, re the reason this was going to be a huge war was the power Random had. He was allied with many major factions, and if he declared war, his web of allies would, been, would have brought hundreds of players into a war. These two players, Spark and Random, now had the power to start the largest war Starscape had ever seen, with millions and millions being invested into ships and turrets. A huge arms race began as Spark began to mine and b to build more warships. Random was r rallying his faction by saying Spark was defeated. Spark began to make fake agreements with Random to try and infiltrate the faction and get info. Yes, this is like the Great Potato War. But then things became more tense as he broke relations and prepared for a war. This was so close that a Discord server was made specifically for the Coalition. Spark began to make more battle plans, preparing to invade Emas, which was considered to be the central of the two Coalition's territories, with Spark preparing to attack from Lysentia. The ships w were ready for distribution. Spark just had to give the leaders of the factions the order to attack, but he didn't. If he had attacked right then, Starscape's economy would have been hit with millions of credits worth of ships being blown up, many not looted and some destroyed in wild combat. But Spark decided not to attack. He, dis he didn't want to another war to defect Starscape this much. After about a week, things began to die down. Spark began to talk to his old faction leader and became more friendly. They became friends again. To this day, Random still accuses Yojef of scamming. This is suspected to be fake, although there are some good arguments put up by either side to do with Yojef claiming that he was being used and blackmailed and Random claiming to have witnesses that he did get scammed and that Yojef... So, although some people suspect it to be fake, I can't really speak much because I'm trying to make this as unbiased as possible and only telling people the facts so this is just a bit of slander so i don't think we'll mention this here yo jeff skill still declares his innocence though and well random still says he's guilty there are no su surviving screenshots of the chat although i'm pretty there may be some there is a there are a few owned by players but i have not been able, been able to track these players down the scamming also has no proof sadly the old eu net member is now out of Knox and well, TG Knox is what they're called now. They he left Knox very recently to form his own faction. Spark and Random and the EU ne leader are now far more friendly. But the risk of war is still real. If you have any ideas or just stories of your own, post them down like in the comments. My YouTube channel has like a thing where I accidentally dis <laughs> di disabled comments like a year ago and I can't do it. I disabled it because as many people know, some small channels were getting IP e like doxers and stuff were coming out to try and steal my IP and it actually happened. I'm not even making excuses or anything. Um, but yeah, um, the, this, the background to this is actually going to be Hypixel Skyblock, me being a sweat in dungeons. Also, don't mind my mic, I sound like re I'm really high pitched, like so much more high pitch than I actually do sound, so re just don't mind it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.